let's like, before we're gonna move on let's actually watch the path of exile um stuff the gods are dead but left on their own men will always seek to take their place criminals your sentence is to be hanged from the neck until dead let your souls feed the first ones and your bodies feed the land the only result is pain and death So good. And that tripped me right here. Because that looks different. Only 20 years since Kitaba fell. And already corruption spreads like a plague through these shattered lands. Wretched malevolence lurks in the shadows. It is our calling to put it to an end. It must be done. If Rayclass is to survive. That is so cool. A moving map or something. I don't know. Oh. It is pretty spoopy. First of all, it looks so much different. Just, just graphically. Hey, thanks. I like that. Um, fascinating character models. The new one look sharp, very sharp. Really like that. Really, really like that. Um, lighting just looks beautiful. Just oh, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Um, it had a little bit, it, it feels like it's a little bit like zoomed out, like it has a little bit of a different perspective. I don't, I, it felt a little bit more Diablo 2. I don't know, is, is it only just me? I mean, I'm not a big Diablo 2 fan, uh, or not fan, I, I never pl really played the game as, as much, maybe the one or two, three hours, I don't know. But Diablo 2 felt like it was a lot more zoomed out. This also zoomed, uh, feels a lot more zoomed out. But maybe that's just this specific scene to show off, you know, all the cool stuff for the trailer. I don't know. Um, there are gameplay trailers that... Uh, gameplay videos, also the live stream where they played for easily over an hour plus, you know. Um, just the new stuff from the beginning of Act 1 of Path of Exile 2. Um, towards the, I don't know, I think middle part of what was available at Exile Con or something. I think they haven't even finished Act 1, the Act 1 boss yet, so they're still, you know, working on that stuff. Um, that looks goddamn insane. That, that, that snake looks insane. Actually, there was on the live stream, so if you want to check that out, that boss, you can. Looks crazy. Um, also looks just so good. It just looks so bloody good. Look at all this. It's just, it's just ridiculous. And also, that that must be, that must be at the beginning of the game. It must be done. That isn't much later in the it game. I'm not. Us. I'm saying this is like uh, everything that comes before or around level 15. Path of Exile 2 looks pretty sick for people who who have no idea what the hell it is because I have I had all, all also no idea. So it is a new seven act storyline, and it's a storyline because it's not a drawing stream, everybody. What I think is, we got a PoE 1 right here, you know, the, the current one. Then we got PoE 2 at 4.0, and in the end, everything ends in the end, in the same end game. So, maps. It's just different, like it says, story, you know, 
there it says line you know that's one storyline and that is the other and that is the end game of both of them which is maps you know um cool very cool um from what i saw path of exile 2 um, will be a lot it will be more difficult it has a lot of quality of uh, it has on one side quality of life improvements for example the goddamn uh, gem system is a lot a lot nicer now on the other side it looks really difficult so if you got a balls of steel you go path of exile too to be honest, I think I might actually change to Path of Exile 2, to the second storyline, to the storyline 2, um, when they release it, which is maybe in two years or something, because it just, it, I, I really like the gem system. You don't have to fumble around with gems and all that, and also it seems maybe easier or faster if you really get into it, because you only have 7 acts, not 10 like right now. Um, you don't have to fumble, ar fumble around with the gems and linking and uh, chroming and all that stuff you just pop it in you know just it's so good for example in path of exile you have armor that has sockets in those sockets you put your skills and the support gems that support the main skill you know if you have some sort of fire skill and you're like yo i want uh, i don't know a bigger area of effect then you have a support gem that buffs that up you know and then you have multiple support gems so at some point you have like six links you know that's the thing everybody wants a six link which is really difficult to get um, to a certain degree, you know, the way you want it to, especially on a rare um, uh, or unique armor, because, well, it's RNG. You can't just say, I want to link this right here, and then it's linked. No, it's all RNG, how it links and how the sockets are. In the new system, you have the main gem, for example, a fireball, you know, fireball thing, uh, and that has specific sockets. So you socket more sockets into this one gem. So there is no fumbling around of how many sockets does my armor have and all that. No, you have your main gem, which I think gets more sockets the further you go into the game or something. I can't, I don't exactly know how that works. Um, but in the beginning you saw, hey, I got this ability now and it has four or three open sockets. Sweet, so I can make a four link. That's it. It doesn't matter what armor you have. You just, I think you at least need to wear one armor, but it's, 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 it's so much easier. So yeah, it's, 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 you can actually have some sort of strong build right from the game. Well, not strong build. They probably, probably will balance it properly, but it's like, you, you don't have the currency jumbling around and buying and then, oh man, now I got a five link, not a six link. Now I have less damage doesn't matter it's like you got the gem perfect you got a stick link i think that's the point moving on to the next one so path of exile 2 is the 4.0 expansion um that does not mean after 3.9 comes 3. Point, uh comes 3.10 or 4.0 i mean 3.10 definitely comes but not 4.0 you know so they could they could make 3.19 if they wanted to <laughs> we have a big upgrade to the atlas if you don't know, the Atlas is the uh, the end game, pretty much, where you just play maps. You go in one map, defeat the boss, go to another, rinse and repeat. Um, I think there were 151 maps previously on the Atlas. Uh, different ones, by the way. Uh, and now I think they have a 90 uh, because of a reason. Obviously, it's also explained in the story why, how, and where. Go check that out if you care. But now let's check out Conquerors of the Atlas. Uh, before Conquerors of the Atlas, we had the War of the Atlas, or War of the Atlas. I'm not sure if the de is before that or not, but we had the War of the Atlas, you know, who, who wins the War uh, of the Atlas. Now, we have the Conquerors, so I guess someone won, but who? Listen carefully, for this is important. I worked with a group of exiles once, much like yourselves. To 
Together, we faced a terrible evil that plagued the Atlas and threatened our world. Through great perseverance, we were able to defeat the Elder. But it wasn't enough. They kept going back. Over and over, again and again. There was something inside them that could never be satisfied. They sought more power, more prestige. They sought to rule and conquer those strange lands. Each time they returned, I feared more and more what they were becoming. So I did what I thought was right. I sealed them in the Atlas forever. They found a way back. God damn, do I love the music. Holy frick. Oh. Oh. Can we just get the music again? It's just, it's so good. I mean, it's good right now. And then, like, oh, it get, keeps getting better. So good. It's also a well put together trailer. Obviously, its storyline is pretty much the Exiles defeated the Elder, but they kept on going. So she, so she, she was like, uh, "Bye," uh, <laughs> just you know, lock the door and put your. I, I, I just love that part. I just love that part. If they kept going back. Over and over, again and again. There was something inside them that could never be satisfied. They sought more power, more prestige. They sought to rule and conquer those strange lands. It's so good. It's so good that actually it's it's so meta, to be honest, you know. It's so meta because that's pretty much what you do in Path of Exile. You know, you go into one map, you go and again and again and again. You defeat the Elder, the final boss, actual Uber Elder. Uh, the boss and you just kept on you just keep on going you know you never stop it's so fun uh, it's kind of weird you know how this uh, literally gets destroyed and then it's like oh never mind it's all good again lol uh, a new end game story so i guess i don't know what i guess a new end game story might mean i thought of a new act i don't think it's an act no no i think it's just just like the the, the shaper and elder and uber elder was an end game story you know how to get to them that is i guess the new end game story um, that comes in 3.9. A complete, a huge change to the Atlas, as you can see, because now there are specific tiers. You know, that's a lower tier. They popped in something into that, in the, into those sockets, and now it's a higher tier, as you can see. So that's that's pretty much the, the thing. You can actually craft every single map on the Atlas, which was never uh, possible before. So you can have a really high tier map. Of a lower one, which you really liked playing. So if you're like, man, I really like the lower tier maps because they're so fun to play and 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 uh, I, I could do them all day because they're just so fun. I really like them. You know, I love this specific layout or uh, 
the bosses that is in that one map at the end. I really like that one. I can do this one really quick. That's easy. Now you can actually fight that, play that map, but in a much higher tier. So why would you do that? Obviously to get more loot or to get higher loot or have a chance to get higher loot. Um, so it's, it's perfect. It's got them perfect. It's genius. Obviously then we have the, the plus support gems, which just look ridiculous. Like I just just alone that part. Wait, let me. That, boom. Okay. By the way, lots of that was the was the MTX, obviously, you know, the, the microtransaction that made this 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 spark. But still, just look at it. It's like ridiculous. Right, they explained it actually well on the website how strong they are. It's ridiculous. Um. Beside that, obviously, we have like uh, big guys, big bad guys. Uh, Makes sense because they need to be. Uh, well, those are the conquerors of the Atlas, which you are gonna fight. Um, look at. I, 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 they actually said they're gonna buff all the damages and especially the health. So. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, they really want to make the end game much more difficult again. They really want to be like, yo, if you play Path of Exile, you're used to difficult fights everything got easier in the past we go back to the uh, we go back again slowly waifu material uh usually there is a new character coming uh, every single uh, exp uh, update so every three to four months there is a new mbc you can interact with that does something and that is true also for this league metamorph which adds another thing to the 3.9 update so 3.9 is quite big I think it's quite warm. Take a clean knife and cut a sample of flesh. Repeat four times. Mix the five samples in an aquaphormatic solution. Heat. Stand back. The intrinsic darkness will make itself known. Observe its anger, its aggression. Observe its changing form. Never comfortable to stay in one shape for long. It will try to kill you. Best not let it. Plunge the clean knife repeatedly. Hmm. Try more heat. More! Perfect. Only every living creature to go. That health was pretty low at that last fight. <laughs> so yeah. And quite a short trailer to be honest. But yeah, it 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 you don't need to really show it here. Look at the health. <laughs> hmm. You kill a specific I think uh, beasts or enemies, uh, maybe even bosses throughout the story. And end game you will also collect samples of literal bosses of the game. So probably when you get to maps, um, and with those um, things, by the way, looking freaking awesome, gruesome. Is that a brain? I think you cut off the brain. There. No, it's a lung. Sorry, that is the brain. Um, you pretty much fuse. Uh, you put that all together. Uh, probably at a station inside the map itself, so you got the space to um, fight, or maybe it's like a specific. Um, um, station you can you can go to you know just to fight it here uh, this looks like a small place though i probably wouldn't want to fight a boss that is fused with six other bosses or five whatever in that space hell no i need space i really want to like run away for a quick second if i want if i needed to um intrinsic darkness will make it yeah and uh, as you can see it has it's just ridiculously strong it is i think also really tanky as they said Obviously, you know, it's a fusing. Um, it changes form from one boss to the other, depending or beast, depending on how it's you know uh, 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 how it's fused from what from what samples it's fused, and uh, yeah, 
really cool, really difficult, probably a real challenge. Um, my question is, though, how good is the loot? Because, you know, that's why you play the whole thing, right? You want good loot from those bosses. So, that's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting. What really comes? What do you get from such a strong boss fight that might kill you in the end? I mean, dying depends on if you're in hardcore, yeah, dying is really bad. If you're in softcore, kind of doesn't matter, you know. But still, even in softcore, dying sucks, especially endgame. That is not an out of seasons April Fool's show. It's not. Guys, you want to play some mobile games? I like some mobile games. So mobile games are kind of bullshit, right? You know, pay to win microtransactions, time gates, energy bars, random nag screens, notifications, video ads. You know, you get the idea. There's really a lot of evil garbage going on in mobile games today. But in 2012, when you first released Path of Exile on PC, you really could have said the same thing about a lot of free-to-play games there too. So this is what it looks like. There are eight skill binds, five flasks, the same gear you'd expect to see on any Path of Exile game. One of the major benefits of this project was the tech we've developed. It's allowing us to improve our tools and engine and system across the board for all platforms. Our goal is to bring Path of Exile to mobile with absolutely zero compromise. We wanted to make something that is a real Path of Exile game. We didn't just farm it out to an external studio. It's developed entirely by a team here in New Zealand. The only thing that's fundamentally different between phone games and PC games is that you expect to play for shorter game sessions on a phone. Maps are a perfect length to have the quick turnaround time required for mobile gameplay while retaining all of the deep systems that Path of Exile players expect. The music. Back then, we really felt like we could do free-to-play on PC without all that player-hostile stuff. So we thought, you know, maybe we can do the same thing on mobile. Maybe we can make a game that bucks all those bullshit trends and make it something that's a good game first, that just so happens to be played on the phone. Okay, me miss that now. Path of Exa Mobile is a real thing. No, it's not real yet. Uh, but they were very open. It's experimental mobile version of Path of Exa. Um, and they really want feedback. They really want feedback and want to... They actually said that they really want to develop this game with us. So it's really cool. Also, I like how they said pre-alpha. Pre-alpha, okay? <laughs> pre-alpha. <laughs> it's like... It's like... It's really early on. Um, gameplay recorded on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, that's quite a powerful phone. From what I know. Um, it's a brand... I think it's actually the brand new phone you know, of Apple, so it is very powerful. I mean, I haven't looked at the stats, but I'm guessing it is very powerful. It's a fucking iPhone. Uh, it never lacked, I think, the power. It lacked battery, <laughs> but it didn't lack power. Um, that says a lot, because I actually also have a brand new phone that's 600 euros. Um, it's a OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, that looks okay right now. It's pre-alpha, of course, uh, but just imagine people who do not have a 600, 7, 8, 9, 8, 900, whatever the hell, uh, dollar smartphone, you know, of the current generation. Uh, that will look much worse or lag like hell. So, yeah. They will have to do a lot of balancing or just drop the quality like a lot, you know. Like textures, just bring them down, you know. We don't need like. I don't know how high the textures are in Path of Exile. Probably not as high because you have anyways a top-down position. You know, it's not like it's Call of Duty where you're literally first person inside. And the trees actually need to look like trees. Uh, in Path of Exile, they can look like, eh, from the from far away, they look like trees. It's fine. I'm really interested in it because, uh, because I'm getting, thanks to my new phone, I'm actually getting back into the... Um, I'm getting back into playing mobile games. I really want to experience those again. Uh, I actually was a pretty big mobile gamer, I would say. <laughs> Sounds so bad. Uh, I, I really enjoy playing mobile games when I was about 15, 16. Oh, that's a great freeze frame. That's a great freeze frame. Can we stop that? <laughs> Why is it trolling me? 
Why? I really I liked playing mobile games. I actually made some videos. My first videos was... <laughs> stop it. Stop the keck. Stop, stop the keck right now. <laughs> if there is a game out that people love playing and pay money for, other companies will need to realize okay our way is not working anyway uh, or it, it's working but for how long and the moment it's not working anymore it's anyways too late for them pretty much because they will never get back up um they're only gonna fight the current you know that gonna, that's gonna suck them down um but yeah uh it's good it's just good i just really love that 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 path of exit is completely free game and you only need to only need to play uh, pay for microtransactions that are ridiculously expensive but you can play the goddamn game for free everything unlimited amount of times i i just like they said in the beginning um what did he say screens buttons, time gates energy bars random nag screens time gates energy bars exactly that's actually in pretty much every goddamn game or in a lot of mobile games obviously to to halt your progress so they can stretch that time out uh, for much longer and at, at, at some point you're like oh man uh, i really want to keep keep on playing so you know buy stuff so you can keep on playing or you're so invested after such a long time of playing the game that you will now pay money for it either to get even further or be like yeah okay now i'm played so much why not um then actually what happened for me with path of exile I played 150 hours of it and at that point I'm like you know it's I think now it's worth paying 10 bucks for something in the game and I think actually the first thing I bought was a was a stash tab or or not a, I think it was a stash tab yeah or multiple stash tabs I think premium stash tabs so you can sell online easier uh, but also just um, um, uh, 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 name them the way I want them to and all that stuff so it's it's that was totally worth 10 bucks. I played 150. I got 150 hours out of the game and I enjoyed it. And it was free. And I was able to play for eight hours straight without any time gates or blocks or anything. So that's why I really enjoy Path of Exile. Beside being a good game, obviously, you know, a great game could also do that. I mean, a sh sh bad game, a, ha a hacking bad game could also be like here, play our whole game for free for however long you want it sucks but you can play it forever <laughs> it's a really nice mixture in path of exile that it's it's great there's so much content uh so much variability and all that i can just nerd about P uh, path of exile for years if i wanted to but i'm not i think everybody heard it a million times so yeah that's why i'm looking forward to path of exile mobile even though it's a little bit of a meme now uh they even mentioned like Hmm. About a year ago, it was quite difficult to announce that. <laughs> it's like, mm. So, yeah. Uh, but they aren't stupid either, which I really like. They know what the c competition does. They have to. You have to know what the competition does, or what, it, what they're working on. And now, how can we integrate that? Or is this actually good what the competition does? Is this the way we want to go? For example, Lost Ark is, I think, probably one of the biggest um competitors to path of exile in the asian market i think right now if lost arc makes server in america and europe ooh, that might def that that will definitely split the community because the moment path of exile is boring people will go to lost arc they might go back to path of exile again still for that time they're gone and not playing path of exile so them announcing yo we got new microtransactions for that and that will have less um there will be less buyers because players are not there yet they don't care they're playing lost art right now and enjoying their life you know so yeah they they have to stay on their game which they clearly are i mean look at 2.0 uh 4.0 i'm sorry uh, meaning path of exile 2 good that was pretty much that. Uh, that was a definitely a lot longer than expected because, and I'm gonna edit the whole thing. <gasps> probably I'm gonna probably edit the thing all the way down to like six seconds. Okay, now I actually have to. <laughs> I 
damn it. Now I actually have to <laughs> edit it down to six seconds for a meme. Damn it. It is pretty spoopy. Cool. Very cool. I just love that part. I actually was a pretty big mobile gamer. Waifu material. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment.